Hi, my name is Meher Sharif. I am from the United States and I'm a teacher trainer here in Kazakhstan. Over a year ago, I was training English teachers in improving their teaching methodology and making their lessons more effective when I started to realize that my training was missing something. I would have my trainees conduct a micro teaching lesson, which is a very short five to seven minute lesson. And then I would give them feedback, but I felt that wasn't enough. So I started to record the micro lessons. What is it? Mm -hmm. Can it fly? No. 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 I have a magic bag. <laughs> In school rules, we often use these words. Now look at them, tell me. Can you read them, Olga? Can. May. Do you know them? Motor verbs. I remember my first uh, micro teaching when I failed my own work with this just chant. I have, I have prepared it for two hours and I failed because I didn't give clear instructions. Mm -hmm. Because I want to squeeze more in my lesson and uh, to save time uh, on instructions. But I failed, and now I know that to give clear instructions is very important. So, can we say that our body and organs are wrapped in muscles? Yes. Yes. And to have video of my lesson is a real reflection, because uh, when you re try to reflect on your lesson, you just think that you know what was happening in the lesson. You just see it in the way you want to. But when you see it with your own eyes, it's just a real reflection because you see from the angle of the students, see me and the lesson. So let's take a look at the benefits of recording a micro lesson. The benefits for the trainer are, you get to review the lesson again before giving written feedback. You check and see if you miss something during the hot feedback, which would be immediately after the lesson. And you can pinpoint specific areas of improvement for the trainee so they can see exactly what they need to improve. The benefit for the trainees are they get to review their own lesson from a learner's point of view, from a student's point of view. They understand the tra trainer's feedback better because they can actually watch it while reading the feedback. It's a very good opportunity for them to improve their teaching skills and it provides them with a record of their training and it's also a good record of their lesson. At the beginning, some teachers were not very receptive to the idea of watching a record of their lesson. For me, <clears throat> for the first time, I didn't want to watch myself because I was very embarrassed, uh, I was a bit nervous and I didn't want to do it. But then I watched and I could assess my work, my teaching, and I, I see that it is a very great experience for me. It was a valuable experience for me, yes, of course. And of course, uh, I could see some positive moments of my teaching and some moments um, uh, that I should have done in a different way. It was very helpful for me to see how I can teach, how I could teach there. And our individual task will be to read the sentences and write true or false sentences according to the text. If the sentences are false, you will correct them. I think that watching myself was very helpful, useful and really important for me. So let's look at what you need in order to record the lesson. A simple smartphone, I use my own smartphone to record the lesson. Inexpensive tripod, just make sure it has an adapter for the smartphone. A portable microphone to capture the sound, which is very important. And I have a small tripod for my microphone. So after you use a very simple software to edit the lesson, you just go to YouTube and upload it. Make sure when you upload the video to change the privacy setting to unlisted. That way only your trainees are able to watch these lessons. At the beginning, I used Facebook as a platform to share the lessons and the feedback. So what I did was I included the feedback here and I linked to the video of the lesson which was on YouTube. 
Later on, I started to use Edmodo as my platform to share the lessons and the feedback. And I did the same thing as I did on Facebook. I would type my feedback here on the top and I would link to the lesson here on the bottom. It's a lot more comfortable to use Edmodo because I'm able not only just to give the feedback, but to also give them the marks on their lessons. So you're probably wondering why a micro lesson, but there are reasons for it. First, I did not understand why just eight minutes of micro teaching, but uh, then I realized that it is uh, very helpful because seven or eight minutes of micro teaching you can watch in every detail. So why a micro lesson instead of a full lesson? Well, first, it keeps the Chinese focused on timing activities. They understand the importance of timing during the lesson. Second, you'll be surprised, but you can include many lesson aspects in a very short period of time. And finally, it is very easy to watch and also easy to record. Second task, what do we need for movie? What do we need? Now I am sure that when, uh, when uh, teachers um, see themselves, uh, they understand uh, their weak points and they uh, can uh, maybe correct something in their teaching. Uh, after that, when I watched this, uh, I understood that it was not so um, right because I should give instruction at first, then I should uh, understand that my students uh, were okay with this task. And it helped me understand my weak points when I teach my students. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. And you can see how recording a lesson and giving feedback on it can really help a teacher improve their teaching methodology. Good luck.